Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Abhijay Pestridge. Welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can expand your uh, RAM if you have little uh, memory and you know your apps are crashing on you because you're, you're running out of memory. Literally, this is literally showing you the old RAM.com joke, okay? Like, it's true though, okay? I'm not actually asking you to go to a website to buy like RAM or download it from RAM.com, sorry. Um, but I, I'm going to show you how you can actually generate your own RAM, okay? Like, seriously, okay? No joke, okay? So if you're playing a game, um, or if you're in, like, using an application, and your application's crashing because you've only got, like, 8 gig or, you know, um, 16 gig of memory, um, and it's being used up completely, then you can basically utilize your PC as a giant RAM stick, okay? And I'm gonna show you how. And it's totally legit, and it doesn't break your PC, and you know, you'll be able to continue using your application as you want to. But there are two disclaimers first, okay? So first off, you need to have, which, I mean, I haven't got on my PC at the moment, but you need to have, uh, extra space on your PC like I'd probably say at least 50 gigs spare like that you're not doing anything with the more the better though to be honest but like let's just say 50 gig like if you're if you've got a hundred gig free and you can actually spare 50 gig and then still run your apps fine you know by losing that 50 gig then then great if you can't then you won't be able to do this okay so you need to have between 30 to 50 gig free on your hard drive and then some spa spare storage space in order to do this and what you need to do is go into uh, the old control panel which you can literally search for uh, down here um, go into system and security and click on uh, system here now there's something you need to note here uh, note your installed RAM okay 8 gig and then scroll down to advanced system settings okay and basically and there are a few things you can actually do here as well that help performance on your pc um and i'll and i'll and i'll throw that that one in as a brucey bonus all right if you go into the performance section here and literally click make sure it says custom and just show these three here thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts and then clear the rest of them click apply you literally won't notice much of a visual difference but your performance will be massively increased you know basically this cuts out all the windows 10 you know frilly bits okay and it, you're going to get a huge performance increase okay um, but that's not the main reason we're here if you click on the advanced tab here um, make sure that processor scheduling is on the programs okay that's very important first off um, nothing to do with the ram thing but if you've got it set to background services um, basically you're telling windows 10 that you know windows 10 and you know all of its little fiddly processes are more important than any one app that you're singly running for instance if you're running a game or if you're in a flight sim or you're on photoshop or whatever then you're saying make sure you just you manage windows and uh, don't worry about the applications right well actually that's not what you want you want it set to programs which which it should be by default, I think. Um, and so the processor scheduling for your CPU will be directed at whatever app you're currently running as admin. So make sure you run your programs as admin and you're telling your Windows 10 that that app you're running is the most important and to throw all the CPU it can at it. Um, and that's what that is. Um, but the virtual memory, this is basically it. This is RAM.com, guys, right here, RAM.com. Go to set. Now, this works on an SSD. D drive or HDD drive, but this was mainly invented for HDD drives, okay? But you can use it on an SSD. HDD is just a hard disk drive, like a record, basically. It's got a, a little, it's got a platter and it's got a needle that's that sort of searches the disk um, and reads it like a record. Um, and it's very slow and clunky. And so, you know, to speed things up, you, you'd actually, you know, customize your, your cache or your paging file um, on your hard drive now if you're on an ssd which is a solid state drive they're more like usb sticks they're they're more like memory sticks more than 
you know, hard drives. Uh, but this works on either just the same. Literally untick the box here, click custom size. Now, this is where you need to have remembered your a your installed ram so i've got eight gig on this pc which is my streaming pc so in here in the initial size box you want to type in or i want to type in eight thousand so if you've already got 16 gig of memory you want to type sixteen thousand. if you've already got 32 gig of memory you want to type 32 thousand. i've got eight gig of mem memory so i'm putting eight thousand and literally the rule of thumb on this is and but you can choose whatever you want like if you wanted to set 128 gig you could um slightly overkill but the general rule of thumb is four times whatever your memory initially is so mine would become 32,000 in other words I'm increasing my memory my RAM to uh, 32 gig and RAM literally RAM which is random access memory is just a location to store files that's it to store data sorry uh, not files but data and you know that's what uh, memory is it's just a location to store data so it can be recalled instantly um, instead of having to sort of draw that information up from, from scratch um, and so instead of like have, having these memory modules which are basically like the same as a USB stick except it's not USB, um, you're asking your hard drive or your SSD drive to become part of that storage space, which is why you're going to lose 32 gig as soon as you click set. Now, of course, I can't do this because as, as I said before, my uh my mem my size is i've only got 13 gigs so if i click set it says sorry dude you ain't got enough space for this mate wait you, you kidding me and so it won't let me set this so i just click system manage size but um if you've got say like 40 gigs spare then click set and you now suddenly will have about 10 gigs spare but you basically you're now instructing your windows 10 to use your hard drive as memory and when you go and use the application the game or whatever it happens to be you will not get a crash anymore because you will uh, be using your hard drive as that ram and so fill it up man fill your boots whatever you want to do um, i hope this video has been helpful um uh, this is a bit of a quick and dirty video, to be honest, um, because I've just seen in, in a couple of communities a lot of people having crashes of their either their flight sim or their game, and I just I know this will help. So, um, yeah, if you've got any questions, you can hit me up in my Discord. The link is down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.